Hey, welcome back. So let's have a look because I got a, I got a, a message um, saying what's the difference between NGF and NG Show High, and I just want to show you. So right now we have we're using the NGF, and uh, I just want to show you what's actually going on in the actual DOM when we work with this. So here we have I'm in mean, um, the developer tools in Chrome, and here we actually have that one line that we are showing and hiding using the NGF, right? And what we do here, you can see here, NGF not edit weak plan. That means that if it's not defined, then show this. And if I press the edit button here, click, and it's gone. And a new guy pops up, edit weak plan. Okay, so that's the NGF if the weak plan is actually something. So right now it's using the NGF, I'm actually removing the code completely. So nobody can see it, it's removed from the DOM, if that makes sense. Let's do a cancel here, then it's re-added in the DOM and the other one is removed, okay? So I'm removing it from the DOM when I use NGF and that has some advantages like we're cleaning up the code so we only have the code that we need to use. So we clean up our DOM. But it also has some dis disadvantages and um, one of them is that it gets its own scope, and I know that's not something we want to talk about now. Uh, another one is that it'll it'll actually rebuild itself in the DOM. So in some cases it's actually slower, than, and some cases it's not. It it gives you performance hit, so you should try it out in your code and see which one works best. And if it's something that you don't want to show to people unless they're locked in, I would always use an ng if to make sure that nobody can see it. Let's try and use the ng show to show you the difference here. So I'll do an ng show here, both places, just switching them around. Save it, and um, back to my code. Now you'll see they're actually both here. Let me just, I click this guy right here, and then I click the area that I want to focus on. And then you'll see, okay, I got a bit down, too far down the DOM here. Then you'll see they're actually both here. I'm having so So now they're both here, both showing up in the DOM, okay? One of them is just hidden right now. So it's it's on the DOM, ready to use, but it's hidden. So when I click the button now, you'll, you won't see any difference here, right? It's still there. So you can start checking out performance, and in my case, it really doesn't matter because the performance hit is negligible. There's nothing there, right? It's so It's such a small element, you won't see the difference. Another thing you should notice is that now it's actually, the information here is actually saved for me. So I, it'll be there in the code ready to load from cache, right? So if I had a huge tree here, I might begin to see a difference. I just want to show you, um, yeah, okay. So again, just to recap, with the ngif, I deleted it from the DOM with the ng show hide. It's still in the DOM. It's just hidden from view. I hope that makes sense. So let's just do the last one here. Let's just do so that instead of using a show here, I can actually say, instead of talking not defined, let's just say hide it if it's actually defined. So that's how you use the hide. So I'm saying if this guy's defined, hide it. If it's defined, show this guy. Okay, so you can use the hide as a, as instead of saying not, you can use the hide and the show. I hope that makes sense. Good, so now I have it all here again and I can still use it the exact same way. I'm just using another directive with some pros and cons. And if you wanna dive into that, you have to go in and read on Angular's page the difference between the NGF and the NG show hide. See you next time.